How's it going lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to another review on the channel. Today we've got a bit of a legend on FIFA and one that the streets will never forget. It's Adel Terrat, the five-star skiller extraordinaire who brought flair to each and every single game. Today we review him. Hopefully you guys enjoy it because... It's Saturday and there's no football in the UK. Every match, left, right, centre, up, down, wherever you want to see, is getting postponed. So, I'm your daily football fix. I think that's easy to be said. I mean, I'm better than, like, what's this? Aston Villa versus Burnley's just been postponed right there. So, I'm better than that. This is your view and entertainment. Hope you guys enjoy. Adult to wrap. Five star skills, four star weak foot, five foot lead, medium, medium when it does come to work rates, and he starts a bonkers as well. Just take a gander at some of these. Lads, if you do enjoy today's first review of Adel Terrat, a lot coming your way as well. Unlock that um, Milan. I forgot, is it Messias? I, I unlocked him last night from the objectives as well. If you want to see a review on that, simply let me know in the comments. But lads, again, if you do enjoy the review, make sure to like it. Make sure to comment your thoughts on Adel Terrat. Very uh, affordable. 25k on the PlayStation, 30,000 on the Xbox. Give or take 5k either way. So, um, yeah, make sure you get involved in the video. Subscribe if you want to see more as well from myself. Now, when it does come down to stats... There's nothing you can critique with this card. I mean, you look at he's defending. He's not a defender. He's a cam. But the thing is with Adel Torat, I think he's very... I, I, I don't know, right? Because I can I can kind of see him playing centre mid. But I reckon he's so unversatile. Like, he doesn't seem versatile for me. I think I can only play him cam. Alternatively, potentially could work at centre mid. But... I, I, I don't know. I'll have to try him there. Uh, for me, statistically, you can't find anything wrong with this card whatsoever. He's got the pace. Well balanced as well. 85 and 83 splits. Uh, Hunter Kemp style. Boost stats significantly higher. Shooting looks sensational. I mean, there's nothing you can critique there either. And he's got brilliant composure. So if you're wondering about the 80 finish here, uh, with bad composure as well, so he's going to miss easy chances, think again. He's got 93 composure. Passing wise, sensational. Good vision, good crossing. Free kicks, standard. 87 short pass, long pass of 83, and curve of 90. The dribbling is where he excels. Along with the five star skills and stuff, he's got 90 agility, 87 bounce, 90 reactions, 95 ball control, 96 dribbling, and the 93 composure. And as you can see, five star skills. I think the combination with five star skill is, is flair. You need that flair to be a super. Kind of flair, not out of enough flair for super quick on the ball, basically. And he's got flair, and he's got the outside of foot shot trait as well. Without any further ado, let's have a look at him in action. So here we go, lads. In at two of the gameplay. Now, this is a gameplay I recorded last night when I was reviewing Zaha. Twan Xavier's... I need to get that Twan Xavier review out of you guys, man. That guy's a centre-back. is unbelievable. But this was Adel Terrat. Now, this is a position that you're probably going to find him in most of the times. And it is centrally, just playing... Like, you'll just see my formation there. It's actually playing a 4-2-3-1 last night. And he just sat in that position every time. Now, he's not going to put his all into the attack. With the medium-medium work rates, you will see him basically float around that midfield area. And he did that a lot for me. But he did it with flair. I love that, man. I uh, kept doing the, the left trigger passes. Make it look sexy. And uh, a lot of skills as well I threw in there, too. Lovely control there. Brilliant searches as well. And I go for the strike and it gets blocked because as you guys uh, know in this game and last year, it's just a block simulator from time to time. Hence why Adel Terrat adds a lot to your teams because with the five star skills, even the four star weak foot, you can choose uh, which way you want to dribble. He's not predictable. He's really not predictable. You will see a lot of assists for Zaha as well during this, uh, this review. I think he played a really balanced role in that camp position. Now, if you had him at CM... What you're not going to expect from him is to venture forwards and use his attacking qualities too, too much. Because with medium mediums, he's not going to push forward too, too much. He's not going to push back too, too much. He's kind of going to float in the midfield. So for me, versatility will be an issue with the card because I don't see how he's going to get into those attacking positions to utilize his sensational attacking stats. You would have seen his finish there. Utterly unbelievable at times is that El Terrapt, especially like... When you use him to the fullest of his uh, abilities, the skills, the ball control, the passing, the shooting, the pace, this guy nearly has it all. Plus, he's in a league now where a lot of people, especially this stage last year, would have said he's unlinkable. I mean, he's in the Portuguese, uh, I think it's called Liga Portugal this year, uh, not the Liga Nos. But he's in that division, right? This time last year, a lot of people would have looked at that and thought, you know what? I can't link him. It's pointless even purchasing this card. 
this year you can. And there's a great one in the objectives, which I believe is still available, right? The, the Rafa. Rafa was in the objectives, right? It wasn't an SBC or anything like that. I think the SBC in that, like, League of Portugal was Banza. So, um, you've got Rafa. Strong link right there. And you just need a weak link elsewhere. And so with the, the ability that's in that division right now, you've got links everywhere. And, of course, Icon SBCs have been out. You would have seen them at the start, link with Kakar. Uh, you can definitely do that as well. I just like this flair. I loved what I was able to do with him. It brought me back a lot of nostalgia. If you guys think back to uh, FIFA 13, FIFA 14, who was the man for QPR, even when he moved as well, I think he actually went to AC Milan, who was the man that would bring a lot of joy to a lot of people's teams? It was Adult Raps. And then you look at like Math Denson, old school FIFA YouTuber, Tarabits. You guys remember Tarabits? He used to call Adel Tarab Tarabits, and ah, uh, dude, it brought back so many memories. Just even like seeing this card, yet alone using him, because he's just a fun card. Yes, he makes mistakes sometimes, you've seen it there, but with the aggression that this card has got, with 98 aggression, he usually wins it back as well. Pace, shot power, dribble, and ball control, passing his pros. The one for me is versatility. But that's with that being said, let's get the summary. Let's summarize Adel Turapt. So there we go, lads. That was Adel Turapt in a nutshell. Well, not a nutshell, my team. But uh, Moro Morocco. Adel Turapt. I literally looked at his flag and said he's uh, his nation name. But the Moroccan. What? What? Is it just Moroccan? The Moroccan Adel Turapt? Or is it like got an ease on the end or anything like that? I've got no idea. That's just baffled me, by the way. But to Adult Wrapped, very, very fun cards. Personally, I see him as just a cam. I reckon he could work at midfield, but the thing is, you want to utilize those attacking stats. And I don't think you're going to utilize that too much at CM, where he's not doing much to get forwards. So that's my only issue with this card. It is. It's not easy to his versatility, because he definitely could play midfielder. It's just that you're going to miss out on certain attacking traits that he would get a cam. So it's not even his versatility. It's basically... I, I feel like you can only play him cam if you want the best out of his attacking stats. That is what I'm trying to get. I don't know if the word's versatility. I've got no idea what the word is. But that's just my personal opinion on the card. I think he's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I think I said this in the Zaha review last night. The players within this promo have been boosted to the max. And uh, I love that. I love that because you find again players like Adel Terapt that are very, very usable. Now, if we go compare them to... Should we compare them to camps within the Liga Portugal? It's not Liga Nus, Liga de Portugal these days. Uh, you're not going to find it on there, Marshall, lad. You've got to scroll down. And I think it's on this side. Oh, <laughs> look at that. What that press there? Eh? Right, so look at concepts, right? I mean, cam-wise, uh, well, Lincoln, I didn't choose him. I went for Van Ginkel. You see, five-star skills. Well, he's four-star high-medium. He's, oh, you know what, mate? This is a very good card. If you coupled Lincoln, Adel Tzerat, someone else, someone else, this guy's really attacking as well. I reckon even with a Hunter, this card looks gorgeous, mate. So, uh, comparable players in that division, it looks like just Lincoln right now. Of course, with the five-star skills, you look at the Everton, the special cards that just came out recently. But as a cam, it's probably him versus Lincoln. And I've got to say, I, I prefer to rat. But with those work rates and st stat layout and stuff like that, this card's a very viable one as well. I mean, reactions aren't great, but I don't think they're that amazing on Trap. Oh, wait, the 90. I thought they were 80 for a second. Um, yeah, I'd probably go Trapped over the five-star skills, four-star weak foot. But Lincoln is very, very a decent choice as well. Um, which Everton had better stats, boys? Was it this one? Why? I swear Everton had five-star skills. I unlocked him. I might, I might be dreaming, guys. I might be dreaming. Hey, anyways. Comparable player. Lincoln within the division. But I reckon to wrap this better. So if you look at this card overall. Sensational card. Is he worth the coins? I think that is quite obvious. I mean, he's 25,000 coins, right? So if you didn't even want him, or you just wanted to try him out, and then you're like, yeah, it's like 10k. I mean, you get 10k just from like 10 matches of playing FIFA. It's very simple to even try him. And like I just say, this link is very important. And of course, you can get links to different players within that division. I don't think I've got any league of knots down here, but he's very easily linkable. Whereas last year, would you be able to get links 
probably by team of the season. I, I don't even think we had a proper good Rafa till Tots Rafa, right? Because I remember Tots Rafa. I don't know how, even if it was last year. I'm all over the place this morning. But, uh, oh, that was a very good card as well. Hey, anyways, overall written for adults or apps. I think this might surprise you guys as well. But there's not too many things that's wrong with this card. It's going to get a 9.2 from myself. I believe he's, he's, he's wondrous. Oh, what a word that is. Wondrous player on this game. And it brings back the nostalgia as well. I like players on this game that take you back to a happier time in FIFA. It was a happier time, right? 13, 14, 15. It was just a happy time on FIFA. Everyone was using silvers. Everyone was using the players they wanted to use. I'm not using the meta, the meta, and nothing but the meta. And it takes me back to a happy place. So uh, the nostalgia is definitely there with this card, but also is the ability and the fun factor in Adel to wrap. As for the value for coins, I mean, you can't really go wrong with his value right now. He's 25k on the PlayStation, 30,000 on the Xbox. For me, that's a 9.6, a 10 out of 10 stars, and uh, definitely worth the pick up if you want to try someone very competent and very fun on this game. Adel to wrap is your man. Or as Math Denton says, I don't trap it. Trap it, mate. And as for the enjoyment, he will get a 9.4 for myself. Um, if he did have the high medium work rates and he was getting into more advantageous situations to utilize those attacking stats, it would probably be a 10 out of 10 stars as well and probably like a 9.7 slash 8. But guys, that's going to be the review for the day of Mr. Adel Traps. Now on this channel, I'm going to see more from myself. I don't know if they've actually got this, uh, this filter in for what what's these winter winter something will be down the bottom oh look at that they do winter wild cards i got this man junior messiahs uh do you want to see a review on him he's got the five star skills boys medium mediums as well but he looks good he actually looks decent i, I want to see what the five star five star is like well no the five star skill sorry is like without the flare trace so junior messiahs you want to see a review on him you want to see a review on anyone man just let me know in the comments twan zabi I'll get that done as well. Thank you very much for watching today. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.